Hi everyone, I hope you guys are all still being safe, happy, and healthy. Today we're going to be talking about stems. So in the image on the screen of a quarter note, the arrow is pointing to the stem. So in this image, there's two parts labeled, the note head, which is the part of the note whose placement on the staff indicates the pitch to which modifications are made that indicate duration, and the stem, which is the thin vertical line that is directly connected to the note head. So as you can see in this uh, picture, not every note gets a stem, but every note with a duration smaller than a whole note does. So whole note does not get a stem, but half note and quarter note does get a stem. So you'll also notice that stems can either go up or down. So these are our upward stems. These are our downward stems. So the upward stems are placed to the right of the note head, while the stems going down are placed to the left of the note head. So the way that you decide whether a stem should go up or down is based on where the note is placed on the staff. So if the note falls above line three, which is right here, then the stem is going to be pointed down and is therefore going to be placed on the left side of the note head. But if it's below line three, then the stem is going to go up and be placed on the right side of the note head. If the note falls on line three, it can either go up or down depending on the other notes that are around it. So keeping that in mind, should this stem on this note go up or down, to the left or to the right? So if the rule is that if it's above line number three, which is this line, the stem goes down, and if it's below, the stem goes up, then the stem should go down, which means that the stem goes on the left side of the note head. So this one, which is on line two, following that same logic, since it is below line three, and if it's below line three, it goes up, should go up. And since it is going upwards, it is placed to the right of the note head. So this note on line three, should this stem go up or down to the left or to the right? That's well, kind of a trick question because notes on line three can go up or down depending on what makes more sense with the notes around it. But since there's no notes around it, you can't tell. However, in this example where there are notes surrounding it, it makes the most sense for the stem to go down because the rest of the notes have their stems going down. On the other hand, in this example, the note on line three stem should go up because the two notes following it are going up. Another thing to consider when you are writing in stems is that the stem should extend an octave. So this note head is placed on line two, which is G in treble clef, and the stem extends all the way up to the G on top of the treble clef staff. So the stem should extend one octave from G to the G in the space above the staff. So just to review our vocabulary, a note head is the part of the note whose placement on the staff indicates the pitch to which modifications are made that in indicate duration. And the stem is the thin vertical line that is directly connected to the note head. So some essential details about stems are that they are on notes with durations smaller than a whole note. They can go either up or down. They go up if it is below line three and down if the note is above line three. And if the stem goes up, the stem is placed to the right of the note head, and if the stem goes down, the stem is placed to the left of the note head. If the note is placed on line three, the stem can go either up or down. It just depends on what notes are around it. So to get some practice, review your stem directions, and then once you're comfortable with that, try marking the stems on note heads placed on the staff. 
And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Here's some contact information. Thank you for watching.